Bismillahir My name is Muhammad Shwe, and today in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can create a toggle button inside the WinCC SCADA. Toggle button is allow us to switch between two states, either zero or one or two or false. So in this particular tutorial, we will learn if we press the button, same button, so our pump will start. Once we press again the same button, our pump will stop. So in previous tutorial, we will learn how we can configure WinCC SCADA through C script this toggle button. But the, in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can use a VB script to configure a toggle button inside the WinCC SCADA. Let's see practically how we can configure it. So we will already create a, a, a WinCC SCADA project in our previous tutorial and we already add some tag inside the uh, WinCC SCADA mm -hmm. to fetch value from the PLC controller here in the mixer one like we already uh, create a tag like we we are using to get the pump run states feedback where in the PLC controller is coming from Q0.0 and the command see, uh, command that we are sending this is m0.1 so here is the my logic so we already developed some graphic screen right click open it so our graphic designer is open so come here in the window object click here button and create a one button and put this start press enter okay, put it one here and font size I will put 20 okay so First step I want just to add a, a, a change the, this text. Once the value is to, uh, zero for the pump feedback, then it should show the start. And once the value is one, then it should show the stop text. So for that, I can either take this feedback or the, anything you can do. So I'll take the same. So select the data type boolean, add a property, and go down, select the text. So I want once the value is false, it should show start, and once the value is true, in that case it should show the stop. You will see in, in the few seconds how it's working. Okay, that's it. Now we'll go to the uh, toggle button configuration come here the event button mouse then left uh, press left right click and select the bb action in the previous tutorial we will learn how we can configure toggle button as a c action but here in this tutorial we are going to learn the bb script how in in the through bb script how we can configure it so here now we will create uh, some variable like I will put the variable name like git value and then we will we'll, I will put the same variable and we will read the value from the PLC controller to that for that I will write HMI runtime dot tags and then which tag we want come here the tag dialog click it and we want this from to command okay then we'll use the read function so this function we read data from this tag and write the value here inside. 
after that we'll use uh, some uh, if uh, conditional okay so we can use if then else condition double click it here so the script automatically will come and now i want just remove it and put here build value is equal than zero then this statement should run so which statement should run here hmi runtime dot tag and then here i want to put my tag name so i'll select my tag and after that i want to write the value that will be the one right and here i will just copy this script and i will paste it here and i will just modify the one to zero so how this code will right here um, we'll read value from the plc controller and for example the initially uh, the value is zero so bit value variable the data will come the zero so in that case this condition will meet this condition will be the true you got bit value also zero and this is all so this if condition will become a true so in that case it will write a one value inside our plc tag so once the value is right so our pump will start so for example now we want to stop the pump so the pump is already running and the, this uh, this code piece of code is now getting value one so here is also value one and here also value one so in that case this condition is not a true so what will happen once you again press the button so this condition will not be true in that case the it will go in the else condition and it will write a zero value inside the tag so in that case the pump will become stop okay just click here in the syntax check so we are not getting any error our code is perfect just press okay save it and after that just run the project so our instance runtime is open now now just click here so as you can see once i click then the pump is now start and once i click it here now my pump is stop now so i'll show you in the plc logic uh, how it's working here if i go in the monitoring mode so here you can see right now m 0.0, .0 we are actually writing value here m 0.1 and accordingly our pump is on so for example if i put it again i will click it again so now you can see m 0.1 is off now so that's it we we'll learn how we can configure the uh, toggle button inside the wincc scar thanks for watching this video